morning and welcome to our boost it is a beautiful Tuesday morning and uh, I hope you had a good weekend two days ago um, I want to read a scripture in Ephesians and Paul prays this prayer I'll read it to you it says he says I pray that the eyes of your heart may be enlightened so that you will know what is the hope of his calling and what is the surpassing greatness of his power toward us who believe and that is found in Ephesians 1 verse 18 and 19 and uh, you know we're living in very uncertain times and uh, when you look around you it's very easy to feel worried or anxious or, or you can feel very negative about things but the secret is this the secret is to change your focus Paul prays that the eyes of our hearts be opened and uh, you know what are we looking at if we are looking at the situation yes we will feel negative but uh, if we keep our eyes on Jesus we know that he's in control and that everything else around us seem a little less daunting. When you see something that is wrong or evil or wicked or scary around you, you know, we can ask ourselves a few questions. We can first of all ask, ask ourselves, is God still in control? And yes, the answer is always yes, God is always in control. The second we, the second um, that's the thing that we can ask is this, and uh, the question is, what is the question? The question is, what can I learn from this? It's always a good question to ask. Whatever you go through in life, what can I learn from this? Because I'm going to tell you something, and that is that God never wastes a season. So never waste a lesson. Don't have any regrets. Learn the lesson. What can I learn from this? What can we learn when we look at things going wrong around us? Situations that we face. Um, you know, everything. God turns everything around for the good of those we love him and are called according to his purpose. The third thing we can ask is, can I do something about it? Okay. If you can do something, then do it. If you can't, then surrender it to Jesus. Give it to the Lord because he is in control. We need to know that everything, in everything, through everything, God carries his children. He never leaves us. He never forsakes us. He never lets us down. And it uh, doesn't matter what you see around you, what you're going through, God is with you. So instead of focusing on the evil that is going on around us or the shortage or the lack or whatever horrible situations we may be facing, we need to focus on the God of the impossible, the God that raises up and pulls down, the God that carries his children, the God who never fails, a God who is just, a God who provides every day. We need to focus on those names of God because he is so faithful to his name. And um, I just pray that the eyes of your heart will be opened and that you will see what is the hope of calling of the calling of God in your life. And with that, I'm going to pray a blessing over you and I uh, hope you have a fantastic week ahead and we'll see you soon. Stay safe and stay strong.